Good morning, everybody. Oh, I slept in today. It felt good. Um, I had one of my um, friends respond to these um, shimmer inks wondering how they work for stamping. So, I don't know. The stamp. I got this stamp because it's been used. I actually used it just recently. And it's thick. You know, it's got some solid stamping on it. Because <coughs> anything can stamp well in a nice outline. So I figured I would use this and then We'll see how it works, and um, and then if we need to, I can come in and stamp some um, some sentiment words, you know, the finer line, to see how it works for that. I'm not really sure what color to start with, simply because I don't know how dark these stamps are, so. It's, they're, um, it says pearlescent pigment, so they are pigment ink. Um, if that says anything, pigments blend well. Now, this is not a new stamp, so it shouldn't have beading or anything. It shows up well on the stamp, I can say that, anyways, so far. This is a rock block, so it should stamp pretty well. Sorry about my dirty mat. I know I need to clean really bad. All right. Um... I don't see the shimmer. Well, there's a little bit of shimmer. It is pretty. It's a pretty color. Let's see about second generation. Okay. And third. A little bit still. Nice. And fourth. There we go. Okay, let's try a different color. Let's try hmm, something that I think is going to be lighter. Um, clean B. I don't know about the new shape. I kind of do like it, but I don't know. This is very shimmery. So far, it looks very shimmery on the stamp. So it could be a case of some colors being sh more shimmer. Having more shimmer, ooh. Yeah, that definitely shimmers in, but you know. Wow, I don't know if you can see that. That's a lot of shimmer on that. This one, not as much like that one, whoa. That's just, that's just a lot. There's the second generation, is there still shimmer? Yep. Um, I've probably been doing more stamping lately than ever, and I'm finding, you know, when I compare the different ink pads and all of that, and, and I truly am kind of finding that I really like p 
pigment ink pads too for whatever reason. They do so much, you know. Versatility wise. You can heat emboss with them. Because, well, they take longer to dry. You can blend them. So that's a lighter color, but wow. Um, let's try... Trying to look at the different colors. Let's try peach rose. If, um, just so you know, I say, you know, if you have something you're curious about and, and you want to see me try, leave a comment. If I have the stuff to do it, I try to do it for you. You know, I'm, sometimes I don't have the stuff, but I might try to get the stuff depending on, you know, what it is. So definitely leave a comment. Whoa. So bright. So leave a comment and let me know. Hey, I wonder if, you know, like my friend here did and here I am and we are stamping. Wow, that's got just a ton of shimmer. I am amazed. I mean, they're saying shimmer on them, but wow. <laughs> this is almost more shimmer than the metallics. Now this one, the first generation has a lot. The second, the third, not so much shimmer on it. So... that gold whoa see I just can't believe this one it's got a little bit of shimmer but it's nothing compared to these other two so as no pick ink I say they are stamping well now, I don't have the brushes that Crafter's Companion had. I believe they got for these, didn't they? Or was it those other ink pads they got those brushes for? Either way, I didn't get those brushes, and I've been using them for those other, um, gosh, I don't know. The Duel. The Duel. Oh, let's try the blue. This is the lightest, I think, the lightest blue. That's Starlit Sky. This is Tropic Blue. That blue's got quite a bit of shimmer, too. Not like these other two. But maybe a little bit more than that one. I might not have got as much ink. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's the amount of ink you put on. Oh. <coughs> okay. Let's do... I don't want to keep this stamp close to me because 
I like it for my fall swap. But let's try this. It says, thank you for your kindness. And so it's smaller. It's words. And we will check it out. Let me try. Let's try the raspberry. But this one didn't have as much shimmer. Let's see how this one does. Of course, we may not be able to see on the words. But I did want to do the two different types of stamping to see. Okay, I see a little bit of shimmer in there. Not a lot, so why did I take the stamp off? I wanted to try and see if it was just because it's such a small stamp. I wanted to try that gold, even though it's not really gold. It's got a color here. I didn't think I got a yellow, but that looks pretty yellow to me, even though it shows here as a green. It really kind of does match. That was pretty good. It is like a greenish gold. You know, sometimes gold has the different hues and sometimes it's kind of a greenish. So it may pass like yellow for blending and stuff. Okay, let's do... Let's see if we can see the shimmer in it. You can, and it's not as obviously, obviously, because it's not as obvious, obviously, because your lines are thinner, but it's definitely got shimmer, so this one may not have that much shimmer anyways. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and, oh, all these... All these trash bits here. I'm gonna. Um, come in with some blending brushes and. Just try to. Blend some of these colors a little bit. Those two are brand new. This one is not, so I'm just gonna work at getting it. Yeah, there's nothing coming off, so I'm gonna use for the green. This one's open. What I want to do is use what I have opened. Now I have more Queen Bee. And Sugar Plum. So let me try... The Raspberry This and that. Well... I might do these. Just to see what the different colors do when blending. So I will use this green one on the blue.
uh, it's acting just like a pigment in case you're wondering <laughs> I wasn't doing a lot of blending. I was just wanting to try them out. So, did I say this one had a lot of shimmer? There is shimmer on there. Wow. Queen Bee, we know this one did. This one had a ton of shimmer. Whoa, you can see that stuff there. I know, I think most of the time on Crafters TV, what they show you is actually blending, isn't it? So, I don't really see the colors blending well. They're just going over each other. They're staying separate colors. They're not changing colors. Like I said, I'm just doing small areas here. Oops. And there's no pink left in there. It might be the way I'm doing this. And then I'm getting blending. I am getting blending. I didn't maybe notice it so much with the yellow, but there is green in there. These maybe aren't the thing to use. Maybe I need to use the the pads. And maybe the brushes were for the duets, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so we want to see, too, how shimmery they actually are, right? Lots of shimmer in there. Lots of shimmer. And so... There's shimmer. Maybe I just needed more ink on it. Because over here, you can definitely see shimmer in it. And where it's heavier inked, there's more shimmer. They're pretty. Um... I did want to try the, I'm going to make sure I've got that, there's no more ink coming off, so I'm not getting it on this pad. Whoa, that's definitely a juicier pad, isn't it, whoa. Definitely getting orange. Right here, it's pretty dark. <laughs> but definitely getting orange there. Let's see if we're going to get purple here. Mm. Maybe not so much. So, it's working. 
I think it has more shimmer than the metallics do. It's a different kind of shimmer because wherever the ink is heavier, you have more shimmer. It's, you know, very pretty. I like them. I am not disappointed with these at all. And they do stamp well. They are a pigment ink, so they are acting like a pigment ink in the things that I did with them. So, it tends, tends, depends, I guess, on whether you like pigments or not. If, um, I know, I know some people don't never use a pigment ink unless they do any heat embossing. So, if that's the way you are, then, you know, and maybe you'll change for the shimmer. Um, just to be able to get that shimmer, I was a little disappointed in the blending. But then, like I said, maybe I need to use the um, blending pads instead of the brushes. I don't always do so great with the brushes anyway, so. But yeah. I'm happy with them. I actually love the way this, the tree turns out. Yep, very good. All right, so if that answers your questions, if not, let me know and I will come back and do... Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. I will come back and do whatever... Um, you ask. So if this was not the kind of stamps you wanted to see, let me know. Alright everybody, if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank y'all for joining me. Everybody have a blessed day. Please join me again. Bye-bye now.